Hi guys, welcome back for another quick tips video. In our last video, we saw how to create a Cosmos DB account, how to manage the containers and create data using Python code and the SQL editor on Azure portal. During the demo, we mentioned a feature that Cosmos DB provides called Change Feed. With Cosmos DB Change Feed, essentially we track the changes performed in a container. So if there is a change in a document, then we can trigger for instance, Azure Functions. We will see how to do that in a bit, but we can also use the change feed feature in Data Factory and track the changes in the database. In a way, it's like CBC capture data change in a relational database. Let's get to it right away. This is our Cosmos DB that we created in our previous example. If you want to know how to get to this point, check my previous video. So we have two documents here that contain all this information. If we perform a change here, that, uh, this change could trigger an Azure function. And we will see how to do that right now. If you create a new Azure function, so click on the function app, because we need to create a function app before we create a function, select your resource group, provide a name, Runtime stack, there are several options. I will choose node.js, region, west, Europe, Windows, consumption serverless. By default, it's going to create a new storage account, networking, that's fine. And leave everything as is. We don't need to do anything else right now. So click on create, and this will create a new function app where we are going to host our function. The deployment is completed. Let's go to the resource. Now here we have created a function app. The next thing we need to do is click on the functions plate here and we want to create a new function. Click on this create button to the top and we are going to choose as a trigger the Cosmos DB trigger. Give it a second, my internet is a bit slow today. For development environment, click on the develop in portal. You can do the same using you know, VS Code or any other editor, but for this demo, I think that's uh, enough. Scroll down and choose Azure Cosmos DB Trigger. Then scroll down again and you will see, now you have to prov provide a new function name and a new uh, Cosmos DB account connection because it doesn't exist. So if it doesn't exist, click on new and click on OK. And this will create a connection to the Cosmos DB account. So database name, to-do list, right? Collection name, that this is items. And I think leave everything as is and click on create. This will create a function now. And we will be able to trigger this function when we perform a change in the Cosmos DB database. Click on the code plus test blade on the left hand side. And it's, it will open this code here. As you can see, there is this default code. If there is a document that uh, there was a change in the document, then we are going to print the document ID. Let's remove the ID to see the whole document click on save and under function.json you will see the bindings direction is in of course and we point to the database to do list and this collection called items that we have in our cosmos db right now click on the monitor blade and we are going now to trigger this azure function let's go to cosmos db and perform a change here. Let's do that. Go, uh, click update. Let's copy that and add a new item with a different ID, of course. So three and account three, and you know, just make changes. Click on save. In this, now those changes will trigger the Azure function. So let's go to our uh, Azure function here, click on refresh. It's going to take uh, maybe a couple of minutes uh, in the initial run. So you can see it says results may be delayed for up to five minutes. 
Finally, after a couple of minutes, so you need to be patient here and wait. Click on the refresh button, and this will give you, uh, you know, the logs of what happened. Now you can see the date here. We had uh, two calls. Uh, we triggered the Azure function twice because we made, we performed two changes. And if you click here, this will open this, uh, you know, this tab here, giving you all these logs. As you can see, we printed the JSON. Uh, the JSON, uh, the document that we made changes to, because in the code we removed the dot ID, so we display the whole document. You can also use the logs, so click on logs, wait it, uh, wait for it to get connected, and now every time we perform a change, this will display the the logs here. Now let's make another change and. Let's add a random number here, click on update. And just wait, yeah, you see now we display the whole document because in the code we do that. And here you will see the updated document, right? It's pretty cool because now without any code at all, we just trigger an Azure function. Of course here, now in a, real life project, you have to play around with this code and do whatever you want with the results. And pretty much this is it. This is how you trigger automatically an Azure function with uh, when you make a change in Cosmos DB. We don't have to do anything ourselves. Everything is already there. Now moving on to Data Factory. Let's create a new pipeline and we want a data flow so drag and drop a data flow onto the canvas here and other settings select a new data, data flow for resource you select let's create a new data set that points to where is cosmos db for no sql click on that click on continue I have already created a link service container. You select the container for us is items, right? Click on OK. And here under source options, click on change feed. Start from beginning. This will load all the data in the initial run only, not again. When you run it, uh, the second time it's going to pick up only the changes let's check the data so under source settings again if you open the data set and click on preview data you will see the data that we have in cosmos db if everything is correct here we can see the data perfect now let's go back to the data flow and add the sync right we are not going to perform any activities here just the sync select the data set let's create a new data set for azure blob storage and save the json files there we i have a container a temp container here and we are going to save the data from cosmos db to a blob storage container in json format click on ok <clears throat> and we are good to go so you can publish if you want and let's trigger our pipeline. I'm not going to, uh, I'm going to trigger it immediately. I cannot wait for the debugger to start now. It's going to take a couple of minutes. Our pipeline is running. And when it's finished, we will see the data into blob storage. Our pipeline runs successfully. Let's check our storage account under containers let's check and here we have this json if you click edit you will see the data we have three json objects perfect because that's uh, what we have in cosmos db now if we perform a change here and if we click on update it's and run the pipeline again let's run our pipeline again it's going to only give us this uh, JSON object that we changed, this document 
that we changed right only this one let it run and we will see another json containing only the changed data okay so if we check again our storage account click on the refresh button we will see a second json and this json should contain only the document that changed indeed it happened so this is like an incremental update in cosmos db that uh, you can use in data factory there is a caveat do not change the pipeline name here or the activity name because this will reset the checkpoint and in the subsequent run it's going to pick up all the changes uh, all the data from the beginning apparently you don't want that so do not change the pipeline name or the activity name just be careful with that this is it for today guys i don't want to bore you i try to make this video as concise and helpful as possible now you know how to trigger an azure function when there is a change in cosmos db and you also know how to use change feed in data flows please subscribe to the channel if you are new and i will see you in the next one thank you